Today's lesson is planning a trip. Hi everyone, I'm Mike. I'm Roger, and today we're going to continue planning a trip for Grant. And remember, last time he talked to a travel agent about a trip to England with a side trip up to Edinburgh, and of course he would probably have to have made his own arrangements when traveling to Scotland. And that's kind of what he's doing today. He's planning a possible visit to Edinburgh, and he needs to make some phone calls. That's right. He already had kind of a lovely week-long tour plan, probably with a tour group, and everything about that was organized. Probably his flights to the country, to England, and. And of course, the travel that he was going to do to visit Oxford, Cambridge, Liverpool, York—they probably had hotels arranged, bus transportation, maybe even the places they're going to eat. All of that was already planned out, organized, and very much scheduled the way that the tour guides would like it to be. But for Grant, the tour didn't really include the trip that he really wanted to make—the trip to Edinburgh, to the capital of Scotland. The tour that he signed up for was only in England, so he wanted to visit Scotland. He was. Hoping that he could find a tour that would take him there, he couldn't. But he did arrange to have his own two days or so of free travel just by himself, and he was going to have to arrange all of the details of the transportation and accommodation on his own. He got some recommendations from the travel agent, but they weren't going to do all of that planning and scheduling and reserving things for him. They were going to give him advice, but then he was going to have to go off and do it on his own. So that's what he's doing now. As we get into our Our、third dialogue in planning a trip. We are booking a hotel, so let's check out the dialogue, and then we'll come back to talk about it and see how Grant's doing. Three, booking a hotel. Grant calls a hotel in Edinburgh to book a room for his stay there. Ocean Park Hotel. How can I help you? Hi, I'm calling to inquire about booking a single room. I couldn't find any available online. We do have some single rooms, however, they aren't listed online due to limited availability. When would you like to stay with us? September twenty eighth and twenty ninth. All right. Let me just check our system. Yes, we have a single room available for those dates. Great. I'd like to go ahead and book it, please. Absolutely. Can I have your name, phone number, and payment information for the reservation? 大家好，第一部分介绍名词 availability， 它的意思是可得性或是可用率。例如 ，without availability of a product， we may as well not show it at all。如果没有办法供应产品，我们还不如不要展示。另外，补充这个字的形容词 available， a v a i l a b l e， available， 指的是可获取的或是可用的。例如。Robin asked the clerk if the shirt was available in any other colors. Robin 问店员这件衬衫有没有其他颜色。也可以说 ，There is no available space in this closet. 这个衣橱没有可用的空间了。再来看到名词 reservation， 表示预约或是预定。例如 ，My father made a reservation at the restaurant to ensure a table for our family dinner. 我爸爸预约了餐厅，以确保我们的家庭晚餐有位子。或是 I would like to make a reservation for two nights at your hotel. 我想在你们饭店预订两晚的房间。另外，补充这个字的动词 reserve, r e s e r v e, reserve. 它的意思是把点点点专门留给，或是把点点点留作，也可以是保留的意思。我们来举个例子。The level of care Miranda puts into her cooking is usually reserved for good friends. Miranda 在烹饪上所下的功夫。通常只专保留给好朋友们。Okay, so again in part three, we are booking a hotel. Okay, we're getting a reservation at a hotel so that when we arrive there, we'll know we have a place to stay and we can relax and enjoy our time in that particular place. 
And Grant calls a hotel in Edinburgh to book a room for his stay there. So again, he's going to Edinburgh in Scotland. That's probably the top destination for people when they go to Scotland. There are other places to go. I suppose you could take a day trip from there over to Glasgow or something. Or in this particular case, they're going to go on a tour of Loch Ness, which we'll talk about in just a second. But here, the clerk answers the phone when Grant calls that hotel. And the clerk greets the caller. Ocean Park Hotel. How can I help you? I assume the clerk would be speaking in a Scottish accent, but、mm. I don't know how to do it, so we'll have to rely on this good old American one. Yeah, possibly. I don't. Last time I was in the UK, there were a lot of young Australians working there、really? and stuff in tourism and hospitality. So you never know. But yes, that's a good bet. Ocean Park Hotel. How can I help you? The clerk might have said in my in worst my、yeah. in my worst Scottish accent. So Grant says, "Hi, I'm calling to inquire about." About booking a single room, so straight to the point. I'd like to stay at your hotel. I'm traveling as a single person. He needs a single room that will have just one bed in it. Clearly, I couldn't find any available online. Oh, okay. So he's taken it a little bit of an extra step. He looked online for this hotel. It said that they didn't have any vacancies, or there was some confusing information there. Anyway, he decided to kind of take matters into his own hands, pick up the phone, and give them a call. And this is actually a good idea because sometimes. Hotels or even restaurants will say they're fully booked for a certain night, but if you call them up, you might actually find that they have had some cancellations or they reserve a few extra tables just in case. So this is not a bad idea if you can take the time. So he wants to find out if they have an available room, even though the website said that they might not. Right. Well, the clerk says we do have some single rooms. Yay. Hey, that's good for him. Fortunately, they do have single rooms. However, they aren't listed online due to limited availability.、Ah. When would you like to stay with us? So there you go. You're right there, Mike. Sometimes you can't get that information online, and in this particular case, they don't list the single rooms online because they have limited. Availability. Now, availability is referring to the state in which something is available or accessible. Okay, so you often do this when you ask for services or food or whatever. Yes, do you have a table available? Is there a table that I can use when I come to your restaurant to eat? Is there an available table? Sometimes, if people are asking to schedule something with you, like a meeting or something, well, are you available on? Wednesday. Yes, I'm free at 3 p.m. Let's meet then. And again, availability is the noun here, and they have limited availability, so the single rooms aren't listed on their website. All right, they're not always available, but apparently they are. At least one or two are now, so that is great. When would you like to stay with us? Says the clerk. In other words, what nights will you want to be here and staying in our hotel? So Grant tells them September 28th and 29th. So that would be two nights. Nights. He'll check in on the 28th, and then he'll check out on the 30th, of course. But he'll be sleeping there over the night of the 28th and the 29th. So a two-night stay, but three days, or basically two days, one and two half days on either end. Which time he'll be able to use that room. The clerk says, "All right, so okay, the 28th and 29th, those are the nights you want to stay. All right, let me just check our system, and then we hear you hear lots of tapping on a computer. Yes,、mm -hmm. we have a single room available for those dates. So after the tap. On the computer, or maybe just the clicking of the mouse, they come back with some good news that there is availability. The single rooms that Grand was interested in, at least one of them, is free, so he can take it. He can stay there in that hotel on the dates that he wants. Yeah, he might also ask about the nature of the room. Maybe he wants a room that faces the ocean or something like that. You could probably do some research online to figure out what kinds of rooms are preferable and which ones aren't. But in any case, here it looks like he's doing pretty well here. He's got a couple of rooms reserved for the dates of September 28th and 29th, and I guess he's going to have a really great Teachers' Day in Scotland there. <laughs> and he says, "Great, I'd like to go ahead and book it, please." So yes, you have those rooms available, or at least that room available. So yes, I will go ahead. I will do it. I will book that room with you. And maybe I need to give you some information, which the clerk asks for. The、uh, clerk says, "Absolutely, 100 percent. You can go ahead and book this room. Can I have your name, phone number, and payment information for the reservation?" 
and that's what he's doing here. He's making a reservation for this room at this hotel. That means nobody else is going to get the room. It's going to be his room when he gets there. It's guaranteed. Absolutely, and yes, when we use absolutely in this way, it is an adverb, of course, but we're not saying like I am absolutely full. Using it as an adverb adjective in that kind of situation, I'm absolutely exhausted. I worked for 14 hours today, and I only slept three hours last night. You can use it in that way to say kind of like a hundred percent, totally. But here we're just saying absolutely as a very strong yes, definitely, no problem. Will you be at my birthday party? It won't be the same if you're not there. Oh, absolutely, I'll be there. I already told everyone I'm going to your party. So it's just a very strong yes when you use it as a single word standing on its own in that way as an answer to a question. Absolutely. Totally, no problem. Can I have your name, phone number, and payment information for the reservation? The reservation, that thing that you get or you make or you want when you want to make sure that something that could be busy and popular in the future will have enough space for you. So you don't want to go there on a Saturday night or on a busy weekend and be disappointed. So you call them weeks or months or possibly even years beforehand to say, "Hey, I would like to be there at a certain time and do." A certain thing. Can you write it down so that I have a place when I show up in the future? And they say yes. Give us your information, your phone number, maybe a credit card number to charge you in case you don't show up. Things like that. But yes, if you're planning for things and don't want to be disappointed in the future, you should make a reservation now. That way, you're sort of securing and keeping your place safe so that you will be able to do it when the time comes. So there you go. He's going to pass on the information. Make. That reservation, and then when he shows up in a month or two in September in Edinburgh at the Ocean Park Hotel,、mm. they will say, "Hey, it's Grant. Welcome, Grant. We've been waiting for you. Your room is just over here." And that's all the time we have today. But that's not it for Grant's holiday. He still has to plan all the fun things he's going to do when he is in Scotland. So come back and join us for all of that in our fourth dialogue about planning a trip. Four, asking about package deals. Grant continues the call by asking the clerk about the hotel's package deals. I understand that you also offer some package deals. Could you tell me about those? Yes, we offer discounted tickets for attractions like Edinburgh Castle and the National Museum of Scotland. For outdoor enthusiasts, we recommend our popular Loch Ness Day Tour. It includes a breathtaking journey through the Scottish Highlands and a boat cruise on Loch Ness. That sounds amazing. I'd like to register for the Loch Ness package, please. Wonderful choice. And what date would you like to book the tour for? September twenty ninth. Perfect. You're all set for the Loch Ness Day Tour on September twenty ninth. 第二部分看到形容词 breathtaking. 它的意思是美到令人惊艳或是赞叹的。例如 ，The apartment offered a breathtaking view of the coast from the balcony. 那间公寓从阳台上可以看到令人赞叹的海岸美景。也可以说 ，Jack took in the breathtaking view from the mountain top. Jack 在山顶上观赏到了令人叹为观止的景色。另外，来补充这个字的同义形容词 inspiring。I N S P I R I N G inspiring 指的是鼓舞人心的。可以这么说 ：The politician encouraged her followers with an inspiring speech. 这位政治人物以一段激励的演说鼓励其支持者。再来介绍名词 ：cruise 表示乘船游览，也可以是航游的意思。我们可以说 ：The couple went on a one-week cruise down the Nile River in Egypt. 这对夫妇在埃及的尼罗河上进行了为期一周的航游。又或者说 ，Mary and Paul went on a cruise after they got married. Mary 和 Paul 结婚后去乘船游览。最后看到动词 register 表示登记或是注册。我们可以说 ，You can register your name online. 你可以在网络上登记你的名字。也可以说 ，Brad registered a patent for his new invention. Brad 为自己的新发明。注册了专利
Okay, so again, Grant has made his reservation. He's arranged his accommodation, but that's only half of the details. Okay, next you need to figure out. What you're going to do when you get there? You're not going to stay in the hotel the whole time, of course. You're going to get out there and、Hopefully、have some、not. fun and check things out, take some pictures, learn some culture, and get some food and things like that. So he continues the call by asking the clerk about the hotel's package deals.、Mm. That's a good idea. I remember traveling to various places in Asia here, to China or Thailand or whatever, and it's always a good idea to maybe arrange a little tour through the hotel because they take care of all those little. Details for you, the transportation and things like that. If you try to do that yourself, it can be kind of troublesome trying to figure out how to get around. So yes, he's asking about their package deals,、mm. and he says, "Well, I understand that you also offer some package deals. Could you tell me about those?" So yes, you not only offer accommodation at your hotel, but you have some package deals in which I can participate. I can join a tour to some of the local tourist sites or some of the points. Of interest, and I don't need to arrange those things myself. Interesting. So a one-day tour, and they might take you to Taipei One Hundred and One in the morning, the Gugong Palace Museum in the afternoon, and then a night market in the evening. And as Roger said, yeah, sometimes if you look at the brochures and the information leaflets they might have in the hotel lobby, you might find that that hotel and that tour company kind of have a special deal. If you book through the hotel, you can get a little bit of a discount that you might not get if you just find. The tour company or the package deal online. So this is a good thing to ask about before you get to the hotel or when you get there. Check out the brochures and the information in the lobby. They might have activities you want to do, and by booking it through the hotel, you might save yourself a little bit of money. So the clerk says, "Yes, we do have package deals. We offer discounted tickets for attractions like Edinburgh Castle and the National Museum of Scotland. So that's great. You can buy the tickets to these popular places." But instead of just going to the popular place or having to book it yourself online, you can do it through the hotel, and you can save yourself some money. Discounted tickets means lower than normal price tickets for popular things like Edinburgh Castle and National Museum of Scotland. I do remember when I went to Edinburgh Castle with my wife. We bought our tickets the day before, a few days early online, and we breezed past a long line of fifty or sixty people there、mm. early in the morning as the Castle opened. They were all lining up to get their tickets, so it is a good idea, especially with Edinburgh Castle or the Tower of London in London. There to buy your tickets early, avoid those lines because the lines form right when they open their doors early in the morning. So you can see the castle and the National Museum of Scotland. Those, of course, would be quite close together. You could easily do those in one day. And then, if you want to get out of Edinburgh and see the beautiful Scottish countryside, ooh, do they have a place for you to go? Right, of course, we travel for different reasons. You might want to have a cultural aspect、mm-hmm. of your trip by going to museums and places like that. But some people enjoy the outdoors. So, for outdoor enthusiasts. We recommend our popular Loch Ness Day Tour. So, an enthusiast is somebody who really enjoys something. They're really interested in that thing. You might be a cycling enthusiast. You've got yourself a nice bike. You go for bike rides with your buddies every weekend. You're a cycling enthusiast. But here, you might be an outdoor enthusiast. You just love the great outdoors. Maybe you like birding and fishing and things like that. And、uh, Loch Ness is, of course, a popular lake. Or body of water in Scotland. It's got the monster in there, supposedly, <laughs> and it includes a breathtaking journey through the Scottish Highlands and a boat cruise on Loch Ness. So if something's Breathtaking! It takes your breath away because it's so beautiful. You can't breathe because you want to take it all in, and breathing can distract you from that. So you basically stop breathing in order to totally enjoy something. Very, very nice. So yes, spectacular journey through the beautiful Scottish Highlands with wonderful hills and valleys and mountains and all sorts of good stuff. Maybe you'll see some hillsides covered in those beautiful little purple heather flowers, and one of the big hairy Highland coos. They have beautiful. 
beautiful hairy cows in Scotland. So you definitely want to check those guys out. And then a boat cruise on Loch Ness. If you're taking a trip on a boat and it's a pleasure trip, it's not kind of going from one place to another like a ferry. It's not a journey that has some you know ultimate goal in mind. Well, the ultimate goal of a cruise is just to have fun on a boat on the water. That's about it. You're hoping for nice weather. You're hoping to see some cool stuff. Hopefully the boat will be comfortable and have some facilities there to help you enjoy your journey, like some food and drink and whatever. But basically, it's a pleasure boat cruise for pleasure and enjoyment, and you can do that on Loch Ness. A warning here: the weather is very variable in Scotland. A boat cruise on Loch Ness. The day began kind of cloudy, but not too bad. By the time we got about a third of the way out into Loch Ness, it was so bad everyone was throwing up. The rain was lashing down,、oh, no. and the captain decided to turn around and go back. And we didn't get our money back, so you kind of take it on your own responsibility to go on Loch Ness. It's not dangerous. I'm just saying you might get disappointed. And here's another top tip: you probably won't see the monster. Probably not, but you can imagine that it's there. <laughs> and if you do, whoa, wow! Right. So this is what they offer for a package tour there. You can go to Loch Ness for a cruise, a ride in the boat there. He thinks that sounds amazing. I'd like to register for that travel package to Loch Ness. To register just means To formally say you're going to participate in this activity,、Just、sign up. Sign up, basically. Yes, you write your name down and you provide some information. The clerk says, "Wonderful choice." Yes, lots of people go to Loch Ness and they have a great time there, unless it starts raining really hard and the <laughs>、uh, trip gets canceled. But the clerk has another question: "And what date would you like to book the tour for? When would you like to take this tour of Loch Ness?" And he says September 29th. That, of course, is the full day that he will be in Edinburgh. He checks in on the 28th, and then the 29th will be his last night. So that's the full day. He'll be there. Good time to get out of the city. The clerk says, "Perfect. You're all set for the Loch Ness Day Tour on September 29th." And he's also all set, I'm sure, for his stay at the hotel from the 28th to the 30th. Over two nights, so sounds like Grant is going to have a good little solo trip there up to Edinburgh. Yep, in Scotland, and hopefully he'll have the chance to hear the sound of a bagpipe.、Oh. Maybe match that with some haggis for dinner. There you go.、Oh. There's a lot of wonderful things to check out <laughs> in good old Scotland. Okay, we're at the end of our lesson for today. It's time not to listen to Hanny, who I don't think has ever been to Scotland. Good morning, students. Hello, I'm Hanny. We're going to look at today's lesson. In the lesson, 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 in Due to limited availability, 来表达由于数量有限。那这边要介绍一下片语介系词 due to， 它是表达因为、由于，意思就跟 because of 或者是 owing to 差不多。后面常常会接名词或动名词来说明原因。那这边要注意几个重点。第一个重点是 due to 和 owing to 是比较正式的用法，比较常用在正式的公告里，像是政府宣布的消息啊，或者是航空公司宣布因为某些缘故而取消班机之类的。那么 because of 则是在口语中比较常用的。那第二个重点是 due to 和 because of 可以接在 be 动词之后来当补语用。Owing to 就不行喽。举例来说 ，The delay was due to heavy fog. 延误是因为起浓雾了。那第三个重点是，如果要在 due to 后面接子句的话，必须先加上同位语 the fact， 写作 due to the fact that 主词加动词。那它其实就跟 because 去接子句意思差不多喽。我们再看到课文第二部分的对话里 ，Grant 向饭店预订了尼斯湖一日游专案。那我们看到对话的最后，饭店接待员说 ，You're all set. For the Loch Ness Day Tour on September 29th. 那这边要介绍的是 be all set， 这是表达准备好了，一切准备就绪。Set 在这边是当形容词去表达准备好的、就绪的。那么 all 是强调用法，表示充分的、完全的。Be all set 可以在后面接个 for 加名词，或者是在 be all set 后面接不定词 to v。举例来说 ，I'm all set for the job interview. 
我已经做好工作面试的准备了。或者是 We're all set to go， 就是我们一切都准备好可以出发了。那这边再补充一下 ，set 当形容词的其他用法，第一个是可以用 be set to， 再加原形动词，这时候是表达预定要怎么样，准备好要怎么样。set 这边是表达预定的，安排好的。像 The parade is set to begin at two p.m. 那场游行预定在下午两点开始。好，第二个介绍的用法是 be set。On 加上名词或动名词，这是表达决心要怎么样怎么样。Set 在这边是表达坚决的、下定决心的。例如 ，He has been set on becoming an actor since he was a child. 他从小就下定决心要成为一名演员。好，那以上今天重点整理，我们回顾今天单词吧。Absolutely. Can you finish this task by tomorrow? Absolutely. I'll get it done. Reservation. I made a reservation at our favorite restaurant for your birthday. Breathtaking. The view from the mountain top was breathtaking. Cruise. We are planning a Caribbean cruise for our honeymoon. Register. Please register for the workshop online before Friday. Well, that brings us to the end of another edition of our program. And please make sure you join us again next time. From all of us here, I am Mike. I am Roger. See, See you next time. time.